Okay, and we're back. All right, start the stopwatch. <laughs> Everything from the road is being uploaded. So, all right. Uh, all right, hopefully my mic and everything is working this time. I don't know how it got muted, but all right. Let's get back to the lodge and see if that's finally back to normal-ish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So I can get my followers. And then I got to figure out what we are going to do to build this character up. I think I shouldn't have grabbed the, the Starship Engineering like I did. Uh, and I didn't even grab all the levels. I think I only grabbed one. <laughs> Oh boy. Hey, let me know oh, when no. you head into the well F so I can five, watch you back. F9. Oh, it's still happening. But only on this character. I don't understand. Well, yeah, only on this character. It didn't do it at all on my first one that I played here. Okay. Let's see if we're back. Just got the new update. So now Every I'm time with I the return laptop. here, I'm reminded of the importance okay. of Constellation's contributions to exploration. Could you shut up? Wow. Uh, did my field of view get changed? It feels like I'm like 10 feet tall. And, alright. Things are just walking now. Hey. What? I've been talking with the others. Uh-huh. And I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know. Uh-huh. It's Andrea. Uh-huh. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. A few days. Our conductor. Uh... What are we doing now? Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. Uh-huh. You found it, didn't you? What? The meaning of unity. Uh, it's not what you think, kid. I feel sorry for all of them. Wait. Say that again? Multiple universes? <laughs> you can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Sure. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards, and the implications are a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't <laughs> mind a little more detail. Uh huh. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, it's a little... <laughs> yeah. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. I know this has been a lot for everyone to take in, but we finally have answers. Let's make the best of them. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Good Let deal. me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Yes, sir. Uh, we better get one of those. These all last available. glimpses from the. Uh huh. Catch a smile out there. Yes, sir. Better. All right. Uh, is that it? Okay, let's get that one over with. And then we gotta go find a Varun weapon. We'll get through this. 
and we'll level up somehow. <laughs> I will be monitoring everyone's vitals for signs of continued trauma. Oh, you, do what you, you are around here. I'll be okay. You sure betcha. I don't know, maybe after it rebuilt the shaders or something, all of a sudden I'm too tall. Wait until Memorial. Yeah. What? Wait for... Oh, today. Okay, darker. Constellation is no stranger to loss. Ah. Our own founder left on an expedition and never returned. It is easy to talk about the glory and excitement of breaching into the unknown, of lighting the darkness. But it is harder to stare into the face of the cost. That all of our progress is built on top of the lives of those who dared. And that we owe them the courage to continue our work in their memory. Thank you, Sarah. If anyone else would like to say a few words. Oh, I guess I gotta say a few words. Okay, okay. I got you killed. Yep, I'm sorry. Oops. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Thank you. If anyone else wants to say something. Oh my gosh, such good words. Everybody? Really? They said a lot of words about Sarah. Huh. I thought maybe I would come up with something to say, but I've got nothing. So instead, I thought I would quote something that gave me comfort a long time ago. Is God real? The more proper question would be, is reality divine? Existence itself is a mystery which yearns to be uncovered. What is goodness but a comparison to the good? What is existence but a participation in being? For where the diversity of the universe inspires awe and wonder, it exists only in contrast to a simplicity so pure that it may only be understood as primordial and even divine. Our essence is what was imagined by its mind, but what we consider imagining and what we consider mind are in fact so far beyond our understanding that even these metaphors are like the tiny white caps on a massive searching sea. There's more, but those are the parts that speak to me the most. I, um, thank you. I was really thoughtful, Mateo. Thank you. Does anyone else want to say anything? I don't often speak about what I believe in. It seems so redundant with how I live. But death is one of those occasions where it's hard not to look inward. Our friend is gone. There's no afterlife or second meetings. No God in heaven that is curating a perfect ending for them. So it's up to us. We are what lives on. 
the pain of loss inspires us to greater action, then that is the good that comes from all this. Humanity is what truly creates our world. We are the ones that judge things to be good or evil, joyful or mournful. Let us take responsibility for it. Let us remember what we have lost. Walter, are you part of the House of Enlightenment? I never knew that. Yes, well, I like to keep some things private. <laughs> You all might not like thinking about this, but when we die, everything about us breaks down, decomposes, gets eaten up by insects and microbes. Or due to the lack of a biosphere, we are simply carried away by space and time until we sizzle in a distant sun's corona or get pulled in some gravitational field and coalesce with other debris. Not comforting, huh? But I disagree. Do you know what I find uncomfortable? The thought that after I die, the universe is just going to stand still forever. Could you imagine? The fact is that the universe goes on, that life goes on, that things do not just sit still. That right there is the comfort that I need. Yeah, we die. And some people go way before they should. But the universe doesn't care. Not because it's evil, but because it's infinite, ever-expanding. And who wouldn't want to be a part of infinity, even if it's just for a short while? Listen, we don't worry about ourselves before we were born, do we? Of course not. We emerge from the universe as we return to it. And for one beautiful moment, we are here together. Um... Yes, that certainly was an interesting perspective, Barrett. Now what? I have no idea. Oh, I gotta speak with everyone now. Hey, how are you holding up? I'm doing good. Uh... It's... It's not really going to hit me until later. Right now, I just need everyone else to be okay. Huh. Just don't forget to take time for yourself, okay? Plenty of rooms if you need to sit down and be alone for a while. We'll get through this. It might feel like everything's falling apart, but that's why we need to stick together. Mm-hmm. Anytime. <laughs> okay. There's something I need Chat to talk to you for a about. Uh -oh. Normally, I hate talking to people at funerals, but, well. Uh-huh. You don't believe in the afterlife, do you? I mean, this might be the worst time to bring it up, but... You know? Yeah, I have no idea, but... yeah. Yes. Won't we all? Well... I've taken up enough of your time. Uh-uh. Now what? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Oh, good... Doki. I hope this is all okay, between fixing things up and sending out messengers and getting all the paperwork done. Uh -huh. It's not much. Good. I... Good. Sorry, if I talk <laughs> any longer, I'm gonna start crying. Um, could you excuse me? You sure better. 
Oh yeah, we gotta talk to the pitcher. Hey kiddo. Let's see, talk to him. You know? What you're feeling right now okay, never okay, seems okay, to work. Come on, come on. Hey. Yeah. Well, look at us. Two lone wolves howling at the moon on the sea. Uh -huh. You know, if there's one piece of advice I can actually give you, it's that lost loved ones have a way of coming back to you. One day you'll be sweeping out some old shelf or digging through a desk, and there it'll be. Some old paperweight of theirs. Or a piece of jewelry they gave you. Half jokingly. Theoretically, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. It almost feels wrong to be grieving. Dusty. Selfish. Dusty. No amount of tears will bring the dead back. It's just easier to feel guilty, if you'll excuse me. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, he's a strange one. Hey, buddy. I am told these types of gatherings are a sad occasion. That assumption appears to be correct. Yeah, just a little bit. I appreciate you verifying my analysis, although I am certain my thanks will do little to improve your current psychological trauma. If you would oh, like no. that, I can add some consoling language to my programming. Oh, no, 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 no. Just hear about this is gonna be... Very well. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um. Oh crap! Really? Got more people up here, even. Oh yeah. Hello, kiddo. Hi. Hello. No. And don't keep asking. I'm not gonna be. All right. Okay. Everything's worse now. Uh huh. So many people here. So many people saying goodbye. Huh. Are we supposed to feel better just because we're all in one place? Uh, no. Huh. What's the point? It's not going to change anything. Well, no. I just feel like I want to be a million light years away from everyone. I... want to be alone for a while, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, buddy. Is it quieter in the lodge, or is it just me? Uh, it's quieter. Death is a bastard. Comes for us all. You know, there's an old Aquila story about two pioneers who got lost trying to find a new frontier to settle. One of them takes ill. Clear he's not going to make it. He turns to his partner and says, Don't bury me. Let the ground take what it's due. I'd rather be a ghost chasing after you than walk through the pearly gates knowing an eternity of loneliness until you get there. Sad story, huh? You look after yourself. <laughs> uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Everybody wants a chat? Drink? Pour one out to the blackest sea? Sure. Two old friends. May their ghosts go past the edges of space to the great beyond. Yeah, him back. Hi. All right. Got a lot of sad tales I'm running through my head right now. Hate to bore you. Okay, uh... 
what is... Okay, I spoke with everyone. I don't know why she's got a... Take care of yourself. Okay. Maybe when you're ready. Alright, let's go. Get the lodge back to normal. normal 750 experience points nice uh now what forgive me for pulling you aside again but well there's so much to process right now uh -huh. the emissary the hunter the unity an entire multiverse sure i can't even begin to wrap my head around it all yeah That's an understatement. <laughs> the fact that we are the origin of the Starborn. Humans literally reborn by entering the Unity. Mm -hmm. The same, yet different. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I feel like most of the knowledge we've amassed in the last few centuries about the universe has just been made obsolete. No, that's just going to be a small little corner of it. Perhaps I'm overreacting, but you can't deny there will be more than a few textbook chapters that need to be rewritten. We've been pushing further and further outwards from our home, when we should have spent more time being prepared for the consequences. Our current problem relates closely to the nature of humans as a species. This rushed curiosity has led us to enter the Unity and become Starborn. Okay. It certainly is. Without curiosity, our motivation to explore would vanish. But in this case, there's a difference between exploring the cosmos and blindly entering the unknown without being prepared for the consequences. <laughs> yeah. But it has made a difference. Here we are, caught in the middle of some sort of needlessly violent crusade between the hunter and the emissary you'd think that a technologically advanced society would have evolved past petty squabbling over something like the artifacts it almost makes me wonder if entering the unity has done them more harm than good eh, it could have been but you know Yes, I agree, but not at the expense of erasing our own existence. When you pass into whatever lies beyond, we don't know what will become of you. Uh -huh. Will you remember your life as you knew it? Will the hunger to collect the artifacts consume your life like it's clearly consumed the Starborn? Mm. This goes well beyond the boundaries of simple exploration. As the chair of Constellation, I want all of us to have this opportunity to explore the Unity. It would be the pinnacle exploration of our lives. However, after we enter the Unity, we'll likely evolve. You and I, as we stand here right now, will essentially cease to exist. The honest truth is that, well, <laughs> you're the love of my life, and I can't bear to lose you. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm guessing based on what we've learned. Even if I accompany you into the Unity, the question still remains. Would we know each other anymore? Even if we did, would we care? 
Part of what I do as chair of Constellation is weigh the costs of our expeditions. Uh -huh. And this one, oh, the cost is extremely high. Oh, yeah, it is. I know. Damn it. <laughs> I know. Listen. I realize nothing that I say is ever going to change your mind or diminish the enticement of this incredible opportunity. All I ask is that you research the facts before you blindly stumble off into the unknown. Sure. <laughs> yes, never mind the surprisingly high number of space battles you've gotten entangled with recently. Well, yeah, you know. I suppose I've ruined the moment again, haven't I? <laughs> no. I'm getting quite good at that lately. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Just think what we discussed. I know I will. Erka Durka. Alright, you ready to go exploring and find a Varun weapon? Okay. Alright. That's all finished. And, well, at least she's not having, like, second thoughts and all kinds of other crap. Alright. So, the hunt begins for a Varun laser weapon. Why am I graphically lagging so hard right now? Holy cow! Hmm. What, am I that heavy? No! I am a little heavy. I don't know why I'm so heavy. Why is my... Alright, I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to uh, reload again. Okay, let's see if that helps. I turned the graphics down to low except for the grass on I could medium and we'll work the it back the up from there everything. again. Um, seems to have helped a bit, but I don't know. I still feel like my field of view got narrowed uh, I really do feels like I'm looking through a window <laughs> if that makes any sense so how are you how much you money do I have Oh, half a million. It's been a grind. Yeah, you bet you. Alright, we should be able to find it. I think the only way we're going to find it is trade authority. It's cliche, but it's true. You won't find a better selection or more real. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh. No. Okay. Next trade authority. The trade authority appreciates. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yep, that's all I'm going to do is trade authority to trade authority until I find these two guns. <clears throat> Shouldn't take too long, but you never know. And if I find enemies... We can blow them up. I think I need to redesign the frontier again. This windshield is a little on the small side. We already got the Mantis, didn't we? We just need money, I think. It's a million bucks. How much crap am I carrying that I'm so heavy? Yeah, that's not very good. 
Really? 42 damage? What is wrong with my character? figure it out. Oh, you also have hazard protection. I'll have to mod them both and then then compare them. Airborne, corrosive, thermal. Okay. Where's my Xenopress suit? story okay okay i remember now can't remember where i found it but okay how may the trade authority as good to see you yes of course us. We'll find this dance. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. You sure, bet. That's all. Cow Kabad. This is on a <laughs> a super fast hard drive. Well, it's still live up there. Huh? Yep, up there. How heavy am I now? I'm still 70 pounds. Oh, the extra backpack. That's part of it. Yeah, trade a sword. I'm learning. Where the trade authorities are always looking for new. Do you have business with the. Huh. Down to bit? Yes. Need. A weapon. Oh, geez. 
going to be a pain. Okay, is there another trade authority anywhere else? Who might else? And why don't I have a Varun weapon? Did I accidentally sell it? You're missing your whole head. I have no idea what's going on. You know what? Let's. Let's go to Red Mile really quick and, uh, Redesign the frontier so it resembles something like a, a spaceship that can shoot stuff dead. And hopefully, I have enough parts with me. Because there's a couple parts that I need to grab from here. Oh, yeah, I should have been. All but the cockpit. Oh, just the thought of landing at the Red Mile was making me sick. Oh, come on, where's this sense of adventure? I'm almost at a loss for words. You're gonna have to live your time. There's lots of good experience points just waiting to be had. But. Yeah. This character hasn't even run the Red Mile yet. Yeah, hey, buddy. What? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Uh. Oh, really? Okay, we have a. Classy grab drive. Classy reactor. Ballast. Shielded. Shielded. All oh haul. Okay. Okay. Uh, there are a couple parts we need, though. Where can I stick them? Control G. Okay. Uh, class D. Class D. Oh boy. Alright. Yeah, I see what I did there. Alright. I need equipment and the scan chama. And the other equipment plate is for the uh that awesome shield helper from Alright, where did we find these? Tayo Tayo so Frontiers going back up front, I think. Living quarters, control station, captain's. Oh, okay. Alright. Yep. Alright, let's. Ten thousand credits. Huh. Okay. Yep. Bye. 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 Right. Uh. Really? That only does.
42 physical damage. Ergonomic grips, pressure means a long barrel. Uh, it's not supposed to be high velocity. Okay. Uh, all right. Note to self. Check the weapon again. Uh, it's not supposed to be high velocity. It's supposed to be the other one. Soul. Uh, Mars first because you have a trade authority. This could be a long slog. Uh, I'm not gonna record it past this one. Uh, I'm just gonna start the next video when I find it. Is there a trade authority on Titan? I, I, there's probably just one in each system. From the harsh Martian landscape. So Parima should have one. Shouldn't does. Mm. Hmm. Because, yeah, after visiting all these, uh, it's just a matter of sleeping for 48 hours. Be careful down near the mines and enter any. Yeah. Hope nothing bad happens today. Hey, buddy. Hey, I need a gun. Cool. That's a very what we special do here. gun. Uh, am I a high enough level to get that special gun? I can get a hard target. I think I have a hard target though. That's right, I'm only level 48. Uh, I have no idea what level it might possibly be locked behind. Uh, because my other character took off leveling and bumped into it while selling crap. Stay away from uh, the sixth circle unless you're outside the city. Has right. Medical. Hey, buddy. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's because. Uh -huh. Let me see what you got. Take a look. Uh huh? Okay, dokey. Gotta be somewhere. See you later, friendo. <clears throat> You're still missing your face. Oh no. Oh, we could probably get, uh... Yep, I should have just... Let's see if they have a trade or something. I don't think they do, but... Level 48. We need New to be some eh? This place hasn't changed much since the 2100s. Uh... Yeah, let's get it over on. Because I don't need that big monster. Not unless I have a million credits. Alright, let's see if we can get the... Uh, <laughs> that almost looks like it should be Molag Ball. <laughs> oh, damn. If you're plus an orc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get out there, you Mars. <laughs> I said kill that giant. Hey, what can I do for you? Need some work done? Sure, how about it? I like 
be here. Uh. Oh crap, we need a complete redesign. Okay, uh. Without losing stuff. Clicked. Oh, you gotta click to select it. <laughs> Oops. How did that happen?
Okay, so that will have to do for a little bit. I need these equipment plates back here. Actually, I'm short an equipment plate somewhere. Wait a minute. I think. Maybe I'm not. Uh. Control G. Nope. I'm not short an equipment plate. Oh, well, those can get moved. There. That oddball equipment plate can go there, I suppose. That'll be for the special shield we get from Crimson Fleet. And I don't know what I'll stick there, but something. Maybe a turret. Maybe? No can't be a turret oh I need another gun uh, there now we have all four guns okay and two class C's I wonder uh, no, because I'm going to uh, get, remove the part holes and put the top half of this. I think I've seen it, but I don't remember where I've seen it. Uh, or do you have the tile parts here? No, you don't. Where did I find those tile parts? Okay. Alright, that's the video. We'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.